Hello and welcome. This presentation explains and shows how to make use of an HTTP server configured on the Oracle Enterprise Manager server. This configuration is prepared specifically for customers working with an Oracle Private Clouded Customer subscription. Customers can request that Oracle configure an HTTP server on the Oracle Enterprise Manager host. With this requested configuration, Oracle also installs the SFTP server on the host and provides a user on the server with the name Uploader. The Uploader user uses SFTP on any client machine that has network access to the Oracle Enterprise Manager host. The default location for this SFTP user is in the file system structure of the onboard HTTP server. The HTTP server has been configured as a referenced file location by Oracle. So, this allows customer users and administrators to load files into the referenced file location so they can be easily imported and deployed within Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control. The following demonstration shows how to upload a file to the onboard HTTP server running with Oracle Enterprise Manager. In this demonstration, I'm logged into my local Bastion, which is an Oracle VM VirtualBox virtual machine running Oracle Linux. This account has no relation to the roles or privileges assigned in Oracle Enterprise Manager. As an individual responsible for supporting infrastructure as a service, I have been provided with the uploader username and the hostname of the Oracle Enterprise Manager host. Enter ls to make sure the file you want to upload is in the current working directory. Here, we see the ol7u8 OVA file. This is an Oracle Linux Open Virtual Appliance file. Enter the command sftp to the user uploader at the Oracle Enterprise Manager host. I've had to obscure the host name, but it is the same across all inputs and outputs in this demonstration. Respond to the password prompt with the password created for the uploader user. After connecting to the host, enter the command put, followed by the OVA file name. The file transfer begins, and this is monitored for the duration of the upload. I removed several minutes of the upload process to save time. After the transfer completes, type ls to see the file has arrived in the onboard HTTP server file system. This file can now be accessed from the referenced file location configured in Oracle Enterprise Manager. For more information on what happens next, see the presentation titled Creating an Assembly Component in the Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control Software Library. You received an overview of the onboard HTTP server configuration and the uploader user with Oracle Enterprise Manager for Oracle Private Cloud at Customer, and you saw a demonstration for using SFTP to upload a file. This ends the presentation. Thank you for watching.